hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to make thumbnail with your in short yeah so let's get into it so by clicking on your thumbnail you go uh you go to your gallery and select some pictures you would like to use for your thumbnail you can see me scrolling down to get my pictures so let's make use of this one this one and this other one yeah so let's try to do this thumbnail so first of all we'll go to canvas and turn it to 16.9 which is for youtube thumbnail then we'll try to adjust it to make it work so here i went to the text to you know give the thumbnail a name so we just name it um female office dress or female office wear anyone so female office dress yeah so yeah i'll try to bring it down and try to work on the size the color and uh, so if you want to change the background of your uh, label the background this is how you change it you just click on label then you change it to your favorite color if you want to change it to different designs like rectangle round anyone that this is where you click on so that you can do that but I always love to use a transparent one then if you want to change the color of the background this is where you go yeah you can see me trying to work on different colors so that you can know what to do in situations like this so i'm just trying playing around you know the colors so that you can see anyone that suit it then i use but i always love to use a plain one this is me using green trying out green to see how it looks like but it looks too flashy then this orange thing so I just went back to the normal color that I usually use, which is a transparent black kind of, yeah. So I just leave it that way. Then the next one is to look for an image. So I want to show you this. Instead of cleaning the background, I just went back to, there's a special feature like cleaning the background. So I just want to pick one of the pictures so that you guys can see how it works so look at the picture so it has already colored out the background and yeah i'm just trying to see where to place it so that it can fit in as well so you can see i'm just trying my hands around the whole thing to see how it's gonna work sorry about that i just have to yeah <laughs> it's nature so just trying different if you want to flip it you know there is an arrow somewhere down here you flip, you turn it the other way around or you turn it the other side so i'm just trying to see where to place it you know trying to move the pictures to see where it can fit in yeah so that by the time it fits in you know i try to reduce the size to see if it can actually stand there and all but after seeing that it's like it's not working I just have to move out one of the pictures so you can see me try my hands on everything so since I noticed that oh the picture is too fine and I but I just want it there so I just had to remove the other one so this is it so right now I'm using because it's a, a it has no background so i'm kind of trying to use the background of this particular one the white background to see how it's going to fit in here you get so here i'm just trying to place it anyhow i just want it to stand to fit in so that it can come out nice and that is what i'm just doing here playing around the whole thing mm, but it's not really working as i want it's not just there so just wash up just keep watching as i play around the whole thing so after a while i decided to put a to hard um what's it called so yeah i tried to change the font of the of the letters so 
I decided to change it to this one and at the same time I was trying to show you guys that you can always you know reduce it enlarge it and um, at the same time you can always uh, you know increase the fonts reduce it uh, then the next one which is is to bring space in between the letters and this last one is if the letters are up down so that you can create a gap between it so you can you see me when i create a gap right now and i just have to bring the dress down yeah so that you guys can see how i'm going to increase the space between let me show you guys see so if you want to increase the space this is how you increase the space between your words so that is it your letters so that is it the letters the words you know are you if you want it to be by the side if you want it to be in the middle if you want it to be at the other side this is where you play around with it so after all that let's get out of this place i just need to show you guys around to see how this place works okay so that's basically it and anytime because the other one is like um the other picture is like a uh, emoji anytime i'm walking around it is going to go off until i'm out of that space before you can see it again just like here so don't be alarmed that the picture is not there don't bother yourself it's still there but it's because you are working on the text that's why they see it at that time so here i'm still trying to fit that picture in i just want to fit it in some uh, you know removing all the pictures around and all that just to see how it's going to sit in yeah just trying to reshape it resize it and do all that it takes just to fix in that picture yeah it's still i'm still not satisfied with the way this right now so just keep watching and see how I go around, move around the whole thing. So if you want to change the, uh, if you want to flip the picture, you can see a space for flip. You can always flip it to the other side. And if you want to swap this picture, there's a space for swap where you can swap the picture. And even as it is right here, I still don't like the way it is. So here I decided to, you know, kind of change the background or change the picture to see if it's going to fit in there you know just playing around the whole thing so it's still not working for me you know rotating it here and there just to see how it's going to sit down it's still not working it's still not working the same way i want it it's not looking nice so i decided to you know kind of change the background yeah just watch the way I change the background. Yeah, I think those two is standing well. This one too is standing well, but yet they are not. The background is kind of there's a kind of controversy there. So here I decided to change the background. So I used the red dress background, you know, to place this other one. So you can see that it really fits in inside the red background and this one just looked like something that is standing alone on its own so that was how i was able to do it and yeah so i think it stands well here so yeah i'm just trying to see what else i can do to it but i think with this like this it's a bit okay so i just need to read you know flip it the other way around flip it here and there to see how it's going to sit so i think i like it this way because the yellow dress and the red one complement each other and you know i'm just trying to you know move it here and there to see how it's going to work but here the white is just not working for me here so i just need to you know it's not working i i'm not liking the way it is still flipping it around to see how it works so that is how you just be walking around your pictures to see how it fits you know it depends on the type of thumbnail you are doing you know the one you want to do so because this one is a dress i just want them to complement each other that is why you see me you know playing around the whole thing just to see how it's going to sit 
well for the whole thing sure you get so that's basically it for for this section I'm still trying now to fix the background so yeah at the end I decided to you know to do with the red background yeah because this one really complements each other very well so I decided to leave it this way so the red dress will stay there the yellow two will stay beside it the background really complement the yellow one so that was why I decided to you know leave it there I tried to adjust the colors but it's not really doing justice to what I wanted and yeah I tried to use frame but it's still not complementing what I wanted so anytime you can see it's not complementing it it's not really bringing out the work I wanted for so I decided to go out of that place and you know anytime you are going for all these things the one that is like emoji is going to go off while you work on the rest then when you're out of any of the uh, of the tools then it's come up again sure you get so that's basically it yeah and here i'm just trying to you know walk around is because this one is a cloth uh is a dress and it's people so it's kind of giving me tough time you know trying to play around with the uh with all the layouts to see the one that works you know it depends on the kind of thumbnail you want to do anyone that works for you it is fine so that is what i'm trying to do here so at the end of the day i just had to you know go back to the previous one i did which is using the red background for the yellow one and leaving it that way because it's actually stand out it looks nice like this yeah and you will know that the yellow one was placed on the you won't know that the yellow one doesn't have a background yeah that it was placed on the red background so i decided to leave it that way and let the sleeping dog lie so that is it about the thumbnail anyway you know here i'm just trying all the filters to see to show you guys how you can adjust the uh, the colors and everything if you want to put uh, all this you can just play around the thumbnail uh the tools in the in on in shots you know to see which one suits you my going around beating around the bush here is just to show you guys the things all these things work for the tools you know the everything in it what the works for that's why i'm just trying to place my hand on each and every one of it she gets so i think i've finally come to the conclusion to let this light like let this yellow be let the red be so here i'm saving it and after all the paparazzi this is it so i decided to save to save the thumbnail and that's the end of it so don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like what you see so i'm going to show you guys in my picture uh, in my photo album how it looks like yeah let's go to the photo album so this is it this is our final work yeah so i'm going to show you some other ones that i've done with this so these are the other works i actually did with this particular one <laughs> so that is basically it all this was done with a shot and that is what i did with this all these thumbnails were done with in short so i just thought it would be better for me to show you guys so that you can see that you can always walk around with uh in short to do your thumbnail all this was made with in short so that's just it if you like what you see or you are able to learn one or two things don't forget to like share and subscribe see you on my next